What's up gamers? My name is Roll Easy and I told y'all that we would have another money glitch coming out real soon and you know what? We got it. All right, so before I get started, make sure you like the video, hit that blue thumbs up, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. All right, so let's get started. This is the same as the glitch that we've been doing at Marietta Heights, but as you can see right here, I'm actually at the Greenwich uh, Garage. This is a 10 car garage over by the airport. <clears throat> it's really cheap, it's only about 100 grand. And we recommend this one because there's a lot of space to maneuver. Now, here are the new requirements, some new, some old. All right, so you're gonna want the MOC with the personal vehicle storage and the car that you wanna duplicate inside the MOC. Now, the reason we're over here by the uh, the airport is because there's a lot of room to maneuver around here. Now, here's the new thing. Since both blue circles disappear when you get the MOC near the garage, as long as you keep them away from each other, you can see they're still there. So what you wanna do is get the MOC as far away as you can, unhook the cab from it, and then you're gonna need one friend. And your friend is actually gonna be the one getting inside the cab, and he's gonna be pushing the car towards your um your moc while you're sitting at the black alert screen and make sure that you're in an invite only session in a free aim lobby and you need custom plates for this glitch now i said custom plates make sure you got custom plates on that dupe that you're about to duplicate the reason you want to be in a free aim lobby we're at the point now where if you spawn inside the, your garage the car doesn't dupe so you want to actually spawn in the moc or get the infinite loading screen to be able to dupe the car all right okay so what you're seeing now this is what your friend is going to be doing while you're inside the car at the black alert screen he's going to just be pushing your car while you're at the black alert screen with the cab with your cab his cab doesn't matter if he has a big truck to use he can use that but this is a lot easier since it's already there and while he's pushing you in there, you're still sitting at the black alert, you're still sitting there, and right about there where you're close enough, you should already have the, uh, you know, the option to get into the MOC. You'll hear the little ding, you know, and that means that you can press right D-pad to go into the MOC. And then it's just like the last glitch that, you know, we were doing. That's all it is. You just, your friend's moving you. All right? So let's get into it. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now, there's my friend. Shout out to my boy Pac-Man. He's got a graphic design channel. I'd highly recommend going to check him out, man. He really knows his shit. Um, anyways, that's I'll leave his link down in the description. Right there, you saw how I drove in to get the full garage alert. Now you're going to be able to hear my friend. He's pushing me. Make sure your garage is full. That's why you get the garage full alert. And he's pushing me, and he's pushing me. And he's getting me over to the MOC right now. You can just sit at this black alert screen the whole time. And once you hear the little ding, that's when you're going to tell him, you know, he's good. He can stop pushing. Now, now that I've heard it, I, I can go ahead and press right on the D-pad. And then right when that garage door closes or that MOC door um, opens and hits the ground, you're going to press A. Now you see right here on this attempt, I actually spawned inside the garage. We're at the point now where this glitch after they patched it, when you spawn inside the garage, the car does not dupe anymore. So that is not the result that you want. You want to spawn either inside the MOC or you want to spawn, uh, what's the other one, in the infinite loading screen. That's why we we're saying to be in an invite only session because, and an invite only free aim session. Because if you're in the invite only free aim session, you can end up just joining one of your friends while you're stuck at the black alert or loading screen. You accept the first alert and decline the second uh, alert, which is the targeting mode. And then it spawns you right back down in the MOC. So either way, if you look at it, you have to end up in the MOC for the car to be able to duplicate. So since I failed on that attempt and I got into the um, into the garage, I knew the car wasn't going to dupe. So I just went back inside my MOC. I pulled out the car, the retro that I was duplicating with my custom plate on it. And I am now driving it back over to the, you know, to the MOC. And my friend's going to proceed to do the same exact thing. He's going to be pushing me while I'm sitting at the black alert screen. So there's Pac-Man waiting for me. Pull up to the garage. Sometimes the garage is broken and it doesn't work. GTA logic. All right, here we go. So now garage full alert. I told him, go ahead. I'm sitting at the alert. Go ahead and push me. As you can hear, he's pushing me. He's pushing me. He's pushing me. And there you go. Alert. There, a little ding. Right on the D-pad and then A pretty much right as that thing closes, maybe even a little bit before and check out where I spawn now. From the garage straight into the MOC. That's what you want to do or just straight into the MOC on the black alert screen into the MOC. Either way, those are the two you know things that you want. If you stay in the garage, the car will not dupe. So you don't want to end up staying in the garage. So now that that happened, I was sure that the car did dupe. Go ahead and start a job. Rockstar created, you know, a play job. 
Rockstar created, and then you're going to want to go and start up. Well, first, before I actually do that, I wanted to show you guys right here in my mechanics list where I have my cars or the empty spaces. Remember, this duplicate is only going to go where the empty spaces are. So you see Eclipse Tower? I only have one retro in there and my XA21. Garage, Office Garage 1, I do have two empty spots there, so it could potentially go to Office Garage 1 or Eclipse Tower. Remember, Office Garage 1 has two spaces, Eclipse Tower only has one retro. So that's what you're going to want to remember. The car will end up in Eclipse Tower, I'm just letting you guys know right now. There's only one retro in there right now, you're going to see two by the end of the video. So now that I know, you know, that we know where the spaces are, missions, all in the game. I do all in the game because it is a simian job and to me they do load up the quickest. Now what this does, in case you guys haven't been following along with the other videos, this unbricks the car and it allows it to actually duplicate. If you were to try to drive out your car out of the MOC, it actually would be completely bricked and then you'd have to do this anyway, so might as well do it now. And once that happens and you spawn back down and you back out of the job, go ahead and go to creator, as you see right here. And from creator, we're gonna jump and press start and we're gonna jump back into an invite only session. So press start. Online, play GTA, invite only session. And this is actually what makes the car appear. Remember, once we duplicate the car and we exit the job, if you checked your mechanics list, that car still wouldn't be in that empty spot. So make sure that you do have, make sure you know where your empty spaces are or else you won't even know if the car actually duplicated. That's why I showed you guys all of my empty spaces before I went into the, invite, the second invite only session, you know, from creator into an invite only session. Now I forgot to set my spawn location to last location. I would probably recommend you guys doing that. Either way, it should work. If you have it set to last location, usually you'll spawn on the street with your duplicate right next to you. In this case, I'm spawning at my Del Perro apartments. But have no fear, it's still gonna work. Once you spawn in your Del Perro apartment, you just wanna go walk outside so that you're able to call up your mechanic and find out if the car actually did duplicate. All right, and shout out to Lost Glitches and Morphe for finding this one. Lost Glitches found the workaround, and this is Morphe's glitch. Links are down in the description for both those guys. Shout out to them, man, awesome. And here we go, check out Eclipse Tower. So there wasn't anything in the, in the Office Garage 1, but now Eclipse Tower has two, has two cars. One of those is the duplicate that I just made right there. Remember, the dupe always goes into an empty space in one of your garages. You won't know exactly which one. That's why you need to check beforehand. Mine could have gone to Office Garage 1 that had two spaces, or it could have gone to the Eclipse Tower and ended up going to Eclipse Tower. So, if you guys wanted to farm these, I can come out with a video later on how to really farm them, but you're going to need, you know, that second player, your friend, to really keep helping you out. They are working right now on another so on a solo method for this. Uh, I'll keep looking myself to see if we can find a method, but for now, you do need one friend. But it's real simple, and he gets to just push your ass with, the, uh, with a big-ass truck, so it's not too much to ask for him, and you can just help him right back. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video if you really did enjoy it. Comment on it. I want to see some activity down there. I would really appreciate that. Don't forget Road to 500 subscribers. Thank you to my 100. And turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. And I'm out of here, guys. Have a good night.